guys, in this video I want to talk to you about the iOS 4.2.1 update that was released by Apple this week. Um, happily, they finally released it a couple of days early, and I'm just going to be going over some of the features. Mainly, this update relies, or what's it called, pertains to the iPad, um, even though it works on the iPod Touch and iPhone and all the devices from the second gen on. Now, I'm going to open up my web browser just show you a list of actual features. I can't actually show you live demo until the next video because I am in the process of updating it. As you can see, I have iTunes open right now, updating in the background um, on my iPod Touch. But essentially, the iOS 4.2 update contains AirPrint, which allows you to print documents straight from your device. AirPlay, which allows you to wirelessly stream video, music, and photos to Apple TV and Airport Express. General FaceTime improvements. Um, finding text on a web page in Safari, which I know is a feature a lot of people want. New fonts available for notes. New SMS and MMS text tones. Additional parental restrictions. Um, new calendar importing features. Bug fixes. And that's for the iPod Touch and iPhone. For the iPad, it brings all of the features of 4.0 such as multitasking, the wallpaper changing, the icons, everything that comes with 4.0 essentially. So it's a lot faster, it's a lot better um, in that way. Um, so hopefully I can have a live demo for you guys next video. But again, I'm updating in the background um, as we speak. So those are some of the general features. Again, this will work with iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch 3G, and iPod Touch 4G as well as iPad, so it works on pretty much all devices. Um, in terms of jailbreaking status, which I am also going to be talking about in this video, um, the iOS 4.2 cannot currently be jailbroken. I will show you the iPhone dev team's blog. As you can see, they have a latest post about Thanksgiving with Apple. Essentially, what this is talking about is the 4.2.1 jailbreak. Um, the firmware was released, and they have a tethered jailbreak. Um, it is possible to jailbreak it with Lime Rain, which I had a previous video on. Um, however, it is not very useful because it's tethered. What that means is every time you turn off your device, you have to hook it up to your computer to even turn it back on. Um, so it's not really useful. I wouldn't recommend going and jailbreaking. Also, your unlocks will not work, even though there is a method for jailbreaking. I will have a new video um, coming up in this week about the jailbreak itself, which will probably be released this week, um, untethered. But for now, just don't, don't jailbreak, guys. Um, it's not worth it. Even though I will make a video on how to do it, it's not worth it. I highly recommend waiting. Um, but that, that overall is the iOS 4.2.1 that you can download in the description as well as the jailbreak status which I will also have in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out in any way, please subscribe and rate thumbs up. Stay tuned for my next video which is going to be on jailbreaking your device and updates on that. And again, please subscribe, rate thumbs up, and visit my website and follow me on Twitter in the description guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.